Since 2014, we haven't seen such an epic Grand Prix. Traditions were respected here in Singapore with the now usual safety car, which always happened during the race since the first edition in 2008. We also expected one of Arjun Senna's record to be beaten this weekend, but it wasn't the one we expected. So here are the top three and the flop three of the Singaporean Grand Prix. Top three goes to Sergio Perez. Even if his future is not as certain as his teammates, he still showed this weekend with Nico Hülkenberg's DNF that he was still there for for India next year. It's a good sign for well, for India to sign him for next year, but also for the upcoming Mexican Grand Prix to see the only Mexican left on the grid being really strong and not that overshadowed by his teammate. Top 2 goes to Torosso. Both of the drivers knew troubles at the beginning of the race, with Max Verstappen stalling on the grid and Carlos Sainz Jr. facing gearbox problems with the interferences with the right way. But thanks to the numerous safety cars and the, their aggressive strategy at the end of the race, they managed to overtake many, many cars to get back to the top, which showed how hungry they were for points. The only black point of the weekend, I would say, is the drama between Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz Jr. about team orders. But then we'll show, they will show that they will deal with it. Top one goes to Ferrari and Red Bull. This is a double top one because both of teams did an awesome job this weekend especially Sebastian Vettel, who is with Ferrari getting stronger and stronger at every single race. And also Red Bull, who is back to the top after two catastrophic races, and also after the announcement of the divorce with Reno for next year. They all managed to take advantage uh, from Mercedes lack of pace this weekend and Williams clearly not fast enough to get them. So uh, it's a very special moment for them. We haven't seen the best of these two teams yet. And special mention to Sebastian Vettel who did an awesome race like he used to do in red at the Red Bull times in 2013. And also because he beat Ayrton Senna's record of victories becoming the third most victorious driver of history behind Alain Prost and Michael Schumacher. Now it's time for the flop and we begin with the flop three, which is also a double one with Roberto Meri and Fabio Lehmer. It was a cruel disillusion for Roberto Meri, who had decided just a couple of weeks before to end his WSR career to focus on F1, but he didn't have time to do so. But also for Fabio Lehmer, the GB2 champion of 2013, but also the official main reserve driver, who only came for at Singapore to catch Wolf for Amber Lounge this weekend. And Alexander Rossi, who did clearly a good job this weekend, already in front of Stevens, showed that he deserved his place in 2016 at Maynard. Flop 2 goes to McLaren. Another bad weekend for the team. Another one to count of the numerous one we had already this year. Again a double DNF and it really shows that Alonso first place in Hungary is really far now. Even if next week we'll be at Honda's homeland in Japan, it will also probably announced the retirement of Jensen Button from F1 at the end of the year. Which also maybe is an opportunity for Stoffer van Dorn, actually the McLaren reserve driver, as a replacement from Kevin Magnussen who is injured. Maybe he could show some sort of promotion for him and maybe announce his titularization next year at McLaren. And flop one goes to Mercedes. This was their worst weekend since 2014. Even worse than Hungary, because this time they only managed to lead for FB1 
otherwise they were still out of base. Tire pressure problems do not explain all of it. Otherwise, all the Mac and Mercedes results since 2014 would be very fishy. With his first DNF since the infamous 2014 Belgian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton managed to not to lose too much on his teammate at the championship. Rosberg, however, even with his fourth place in the race, lost a lot to Sebastian Vettel for the second place in the championship, which is maybe the most spiciest thing, most spicy thing that we are expecting for the championship at the end of the season. Picture of the weekend is the man fan on track. Uh, we haven't seen an in track invention for a lot of time right now, but this time, time it was in the middle of the race. And he was just like very calm, very, walking very calmly, not as uh, at Silverstone in 2003. And as Vettel joked at the end of the race, he hoped that the, the picture he took were on focus. So, thank you for watching. Uh, as you can maybe notice, I've changed some pretty much things. I don't have a text to read just in front of me this time, so I'm just focusing on the lens. Uh, I'm using a tripod and I'm also losing, uh, using artificial lights as uh, it's not as light as I hoped it would be uh, outside. So I'm using artificial light. Uh, I hope the quality would be even better, even if my uh, elocution would be a bit more messy. Um, I see you next week for the Japanese Grand Prix. Like, share, subscribe and see you under the ticket fly. Bye!